This is the video solution to buoyancy example problem number two. So let's start with a question. To lift up a heavy chest of gold, salvage divers will take a large pair of deflated round balloons one meter in diameter and attach them to a small chest of gold with a mass of 1,000 kilograms. They will then inflate the balloons to a diameter of one meter. Will the balloons lift the chest, and if so, will it accelerate when it, as it's lifted? If instead the chest would sink, then how fast would it accelerate downwards and neglect friction with the water? So let's start with a picture of what's going on. Pretty simple, the balloons and the gold. And if I look at this, I can see that I only have two forces acting on the gold. I've got gravity and I've got the buoyancy force, the balloons, pulling them up. So I'm not worried about the tension in the ropes. They're just, I'm just going to neglect that and go right with the buoyancy force. I'm going to assume that it's going to accelerate straight up. Now it might go down. If it accelerates downwards, I'm going to get a negative acceleration. If it doesn't accelerate at all, I'm going to get an acceleration of zero. But I'll start with this assumption because I need to start someplace. So if I look at this, I can figure out my givens. Uh, my givens, I've got the diameter of the balloon, the mass of the gold, I'm looking for the net acceleration. So here's my strategy. I know the net acceleration is due to the difference in forces. Sum up the forces and set them equal to MA net. So I'll sum up the forces in the y direction, that's equal to F net, and that's equal to the buoyancy force minus the weight. So the net force is equal to rho VG minus MG. Now I can use the distributive property to pull out G, and then I can solve for the acceleration by dividing both sides by the mass. So the acceleration, rho, is equal to 4 thirds pi r squared minus the mass times G divided by the mass. At this point I've got my unknown isolated, so I'll put in my numbers and units, and I'll solve it, and I get a positive acceleration of 4.92 meters per second squared. So yes, the balloons will lift it, in fact, we'll try to accelerate it upwards with an acceleration of 0.492 meters per second squared. 